Hey guys, today I just wanted to quickly share how to fully unlock the exotic shotgun, the chaperone, and explain the steps that lead up to it. Sorry for being a little late on this one, I've been a bit busy lately. First, to get the quest, I believe you must complete the main Taken King storyline and visit Amanda Holiday to begin the quest. Most people also speculate that you must be level 3 in the Crucible as well. If the quest hasn't appeared for you yet, just keep checking back as you play. The first step requires you to get kills with the last word equipped while in the Crucible. For this, each kill gives you 1% progression, and headshots give you 2%. Unfortunately, each time you die, the progression is set back 2%, so play smart and stay away from Mayhem. This may be a little difficult for some players because of the recent change to the hand cannons, but I found it easiest to complete in Rumble. After that, you must donate by bringing 15,000 Glimmer to the Crypt Arc, and then bringing that Glimmer Crystal to Amanda Holiday. The next step involves you jumping back into the Crucible, this time with shotguns. This step requires you to get 100% in shotgun kills. This is actually a very easy step, giving you 3% each kill and not taking away any progression after death. Don't be surprised if this step comes naturally as you play. The last and most difficult step requires you to complete a specialized level 42 Bond Brothers strike on the Dreadnought. This step requires that you kill the Bond Brothers with a shotgun equipped. You may use any other gun up to the kill, but make sure you equip the shotgun before completing the mission. Also, I highly suggest attempting this with three people, as this will be very difficult due to the high recommended light level. But either way, this mission has matchmaking. Make sure to take the mission slow, and when in the boss room, use any cover along the outside that you can use to keep a cycle of movements. Once the Mortar Brother comes out, you cannot be standing still very much. You might even want to equip the older subclasses like Sunsinger for the self-resurrection and Blade Dancer for invisible reviving. And just a tip, you don't actually have to complete the entire mission. As long as you kill one of the brothers on one run and another on the next, the quest completes itself. Either way, once you complete the final stage, you need to wait until the next weekly reset to actually get the chaperone. And that's it. I hope this helped you get a little closer to one of the most well-designed shotguns yet, and I hope to see you in the next video.